Why, hello there. You look like you can use an iPod Touch 4th generation case. Why not try the Incipio Gaming Case, the Hive? It's an awesome case brought to you guys by Incipio. And while I'm here, why don't I just show you a little bit about the case? Alright guys, so, welcome back. Um, a little different there. If you guys haven't noticed, I just want to go right off the back by letting you guys know that no, I'm not using my Nikon D5100 for this video, or the microphone, because I left my camera at college. I just came home this weekend, or just today, actually, to do some videos for you guys. Uh, what I'm actually going to try to do is find a studio somewhere uh, in the on campus somewhere uh, and see if I can possibly use that or rent that out or find a free time when that's going to be open and try to uh, get my reviews done there so you guys don't have to wait like weekly for reviews so I can get them out quicker to you guys. Um, but hopefully that will happen. Uh, if not, yeah, if you guys see my videos slow down a little bit, uh, it's because I'm, you know, in college now so I have to worry about work first and I'm not even going to get into that, but uh, I'm going to try to stay as consistent as I can now because I'm going to be learning more about editing and more about everything with that, uh, majoring in new media, so, you know, I should be able to help you guys out more now. Okay, so, no more of that. Let's get on to what you guys came here for, the Incipio Hive, right over here. This case was given to me by Incipio, so I will want to thank them very much for hooking us up with this product for review. Um, this is a... Much different case from any normal silicone case you may see out there. You might just have a silicone case that covers your iPod. You think, silicone, oh, it'll protect it from scratches, and oh, if I drop it, it'll be fine. Well, most cases are going to be really thin, and they're not going to be able to do that job that you may think they'll do if you drop it or something like that. This case right here, different story. So let's go ahead and open this case up. All right, we can slide this bad boy out, put that off to lay side. And we will take our case out right here, which is a very nice case. I had this on my iPod for a oh, lengthy time. So let's go ahead and take this out first. Lengthy time, is that even? I don't know. But with this case, you get the fake little iPod right here, and you get Incipio's goodie bag, which is actually kind of good, if that makes any sense. And they also do give you another iPod Touch, which is actually really nice of them. Um, so uh, here in the goodie bag, you get two screen protectors right here. They're very nice screen protectors. I believe one is clear and one is an anti-glare. So that is awesome. You could go somewhere and pay money, good money, for something like that. Uh, but in this case, you can just get them when you buy the case. You get a squeegee, and you get a nice little Incipio cleaning cloth right there. So we'll place that up and off to the side. And here is the case itself. It looks very nice. Like I said, it is a silicone case. Uh, it's a very nice silicone. It's not too stretchy. It's not too... Uh, uh, not too tight, I guess you could say. Uh, but it's 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 a really it's a really nice silicone. I do enjoy it. Uh, it feels nice and smooth. It has a great texture to it with this hive kind of beehive kind of look to get to it. You guys see all the different uh, like geometric shapes inside here. You guys can see all that kind of like a beehive, a uh, honeycomb almost, if if you will. If you're not really sure what that would, a honeycomb maybe. Uh, for those of you out there that like that cereal, honeycomb cereal, it's actually pretty good. I mean, and I'm not sponsored by them, but if they ever... Anyway, um, it's a really cool case, so let's just go ahead and stop talking about it and put this on my iPod. So let's go ahead and take the iPod. It's very simple. You can see Incipio on inside there. Inside, very smooth, so you don't have to rub anything scratching your iPod. Slide it down there, pull up one corner, pull up the next, and massage the rest into place, and you will be good to go. As you guys can see right there, I just turned on my iPod, but... Um, you guys can see right off the bat as well, it does not cover, uh, your headphone, or headphone, yeah, that's, that's your headphone jack, yeah, it does not cover your FaceTime camera, which is very nice, you guys see it stops right about, uh, right before that, your home button right down here is very nicely exposed as well, so you don't throw bad interference, and your full screen, uh, it comes up right to the corners of the edges, edges of the screen, excuse me, uh, to protect, uh, the rest of your iPod, you guys can see here, the screen, nothing is affected with the screen at all. Uh, now, what I just did, but how I just locked it, that's something I really want to talk to you guys about as well. The lock button up right up here looks like it'd be pretty high because it's on one of these weird divots. You guys see, well, not divot, but you guys see this, like, dent right here. How it comes out, you think, oh, man, that, that's going to place my power button so far away from the button that the case has. Not true. It's actually, there's a lot of silicone there, so you can actually use that little uh, power button that they have right up there. Just click that. I don't know. Very simple. It's got a very nice feel to it. Same goes for the volume uh, rockers, volume buttons on the side now. Very easy to use those as well. See if we can double click here. You guys see, very easy to use those as well. Nothing is messed up or in the way with those, uh, which is very nice. 
Now, let's go ahead and turn over to the back here. You guys can see your camera cut out. It's very nicely cut out. There's no flash, so this, you guys, some of you would probably worry about how you guys can't see the camera sometimes, that you'd have to worry about a flash being messed up. There's no flash. You don't have to worry about that. Your microphone right there is also exposed. It's not covered up. See if I can get a nice little autofocus here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you guys can see the camera very nicely exposed along with the um, microphone. If we go ahead and look at the bottom of the case here, you guys can see you have a fully open dock, so it's going to be easy to dock with most docking stations. Uh, you have your speaker grill exposed, which is very nice. See if we can get this on focus. There we go. Your speaker grill uh, is exposed right there, so that's very nice. You have your 30-pin Apple Dock connector, uh, which is all exposed as well, and your headphone jack. Uh, could be a little bit of a pain to get to if you have a headphone that kind of goes in and then down, you know, not just one that goes straight in. But if you just move the case over to the side a little bit and then put it in, then you can just let the case go. It'll, you'll be fine with that. Uh, just a little bit of maybe something where they could put a little less silicone there. I don't know. Maybe improve that in the future. Uh, you got to see the Hive texture looks really nice. And if you can also see, what's that? Are there speed bumps on your case? Actually, those are the gaming grips. This is Incipio's Dermashot silicone, so it's going to be really nice in your hand. Those grips are going to feel really, really nice. Um, you can call them grips. You can call them raised handles. You can call them whatever you want. They aid you when you are playing games so much. It's actually so much easier to play than holding just the iPod, that flat device. Now you have something physical there. Now you have physical bumps that you can actually hold on to, and your fingers go around it really nicely. You guys see if you put your hands right there, and your fingers come around that bump, and just they're easy, they're able to rest there. Instead of having to be forced flat down, they can rest there, which you guys can kind of tell there. You can see the stress that's going being put on my fingers there to do that and hold the iPod. Now you can relax them just like that. You guys see the stress has gone from my fingers, and you can easily just hold it on the bumps there. Really, really cool design with this gaming case. Uh, say if you're playing Asphalt Racing, really really awesome case for that nothing's gonna cover up the screen at all um, it's it's a really really nice case I do enjoy the texture on the back as well which can be a lint magnet but you're gonna get that with a lot of silicone cases uh, but it does have a lot of crevices to um, to keep the silicone and you guess to see all the silicone in there but you can just blow a good majority of it off you know it's really not that big of a deal take a nice microfiber take an anti-static cloth wipe it down do whatever you got to do, uh, and the, you can get that away uh, very simply. All around, I think this is a very nice case. If you guys are interested in gaming a lot on your iPod Touch 4th generation, this is going to be a case you're going to want to look into. For all, my, for all my gamer fans out there, definitely look into this case. If you're interested, this is $19.95 on Incipio's website. It's a great case for gaming. It's a great case if you just want a better grip for iPod. Say you text in the landscape mode a lot, go ahead and pick up this case so then you can have your fingers rest there. And go ahead and type away. It's it's a very nice case for uh, landscape texting. So if you're going to be viewing a lot of photos sideways, it's going to be a great case for you. So, guys, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for Incipio for hooking us up with this product for review. Uh, and thank you guys for watching. Thank you for staying subscribed. Hopefully, you guys like this video. Uh, comment what your opinions are on this case down below. Let me know if you're a gaming. Let me know if you're a gamer on the iPod Touch. Let me know if you're, you're active uh, with all the different games in the App Store and racing games on the iPod Touch. I'd like to be interested. Uh, I'm interested in knowing how many of you actually do use the app store to its full potential and really do download all the games and would be interested in a case just like this so thank you guys once again i will catch you all in the next one favorite comment thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you guys later <laughs> oh, peace